Well, hi, Cindy. Good morning or afternoon whenever everybody's joining us. Um, we're going to play a shoe of blackjack, but today we're going to add a little table talk, and that's about uh, our money envelope and, and what it means. By money envelope, what we mean is our monopoly money that we have accumulated over the years. And this is how we tell if we're ahead or behind overall. Well, when we started out, we set up a bank from the monopoly money that we gave ourselves unlimited credit from. And um, when, whenever we ran out of money, we borrowed more from this virtual bank and wrote it down like a loan. That's what these money envelopes are that we have here. And uh, to be, the loans were to be paid back whenever we had the money. In the beginning, we lost lots of money, thousands of dollars that we owed the bank. So we could tell that the systems that we were using were not winning overall as time passed. Now, over the last couple of years, we've improved our systems to a winning system that has allowed us to pay back our bank loans and we know this because we've kept our Monopoly bankroll money in an envelope wallet and kept track of how much we borrowed and how much we paid. Just recently, we noticed that we had all the $500 bills in our money envelopes. So we repaid the bank some of our loans and then traded some $500 bills for some $1,000 bills. This is how we know that these strategies that we're presenting to you work over time. You can see Cindy's money there, and uh, I've got the same type of an envelope here. And so even since we paid back, we've accumulated more winnings. So, uh, you know, we're confident in what we're telling you here. So, uh, Let's play some blackjack. You wanna how much you're gonna buy in for today? Oh gosh. I guess I'll do my normal of five hundred. Okay. And I'm gonna give them all to you in twenty fives. Just like that. There's five hundred dollars in Monopoly chip monies. <laughs> But it's all about collecting data and playing the game and making sure that we have winning strategies. Okay, Sounds here's good. the burn card, which we don't usually show. Uh, they don't show it to you in the uh, casino, but we like to show it to make it interesting for us. So Cindy's going to probably make a... Wild and crazy bet. Yep. And we'll start this off. All right, well, at least we broke even, even there. <laughs> yeah. What you gonna do? I'm gonna hit. So that's nine or 19. I'll stay at 19. Okay, 11, 14, that three saved you, 23. All right. All right, that's a good one. That is. So, and as usual, we keep our score sheet, we write down every hand that we play, whether we win or lose, and how it happened, whether it was a blackjack or a straight um, win or, or double or split or whatever. Do you want to buy insurance? Yeah. Okay. Nobody's home. There's 18, so your 20 is a winner. All right. That's what we like. Yeah. And since that was two in a row, we take our winnings back. That's a nice, good start. Anytime the dealer has a six or less, you're in great shape because you don't have to break yourself. So, it's so I don't break or no, I can. I can you, break. You, you got four. Yeah. It's not a double because you you got a handy card there. Well, we made our we made our video. We know that it's, uh, the card is wrong, <laughs> according to our calculations. We know that this is not a double, 
because there's a lot of bad cards you can get. If you get a two or a three, you hit again and um, try to make a hand. You don't break yourself. You, you, you got ended up with 14, so you don't break yourself. But it's not a double. It's a bar marginal hand. If you had a six or a seven against uh, the dealer's break card, definitely a double. So you're probably going to just sit on that. Right. You don't want to break yourself and let the dealer break. Just like that. Oh, boy. All right. So you get another $100. You have a really nice start to the game. And now I've she's... I won three in a row, so I'm taking... Splitting them into two hands. Two hands, yeah. All right. Oop. You miss getting two aces. <laughs> and let's see what happens here. Uh-oh. Boom. Oh, boy. So you zigged at the wrong time. Should have yep. been should have been zagging. You lost two in a row. I mean, both hands. Right. So try another hand out here. Okay. Burn up three aces. <laughs> Nobody got blackjack. Well, just the dealer got a blackjack, right? <laughs> so that's you don't you don't count that as a win for you. Well, you gotta work. Okay. Stay hit. Seventeen. Stay hit. Too much. Dealer's got to risk it. Twenty-one. All right. Aye. So you had no way of knowing I had that six in the hole. And that, that's, that's the house's advantage. If they have a nine or a 10, eight, nine, 10 and showing or an ace, people have to keep hitting until they break or make a good hand, but usually it's keep hitting until you break. Now there's a good hand for you to start off with. Oh, no, 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 over here, go with my winnings first. Yeah, yeah, these are your parentheses that she didn't have to touch and hopefully It'll stay there. 17, so you need a six or more. Up, oh, loser. Boy, boy. You played, you played right, but it just the cards are not falling right for you right, right now. Yeah, I've noticed that. So let's try another single out. Oh, Ten. That's. I double, except you've got a good card. Yeah, n n not against a nine or a ten. Hit. Okay, 20 okay. is what you needed. All right. So you get paid. You could have doubled, but it's marginal. There's so many bad cards you could hit that 10 with that you just, against the 10, that you just, you played that right. And even though you didn't win double, you won. Right. And you didn't, you didn't lose twice as much by playing a marginal hand, overly aggressive. 21. Ouch. Okay. Okay. The, the next one, should we do a purple? I've, I've won one and lost one. Uh, it's up to you. It's your money. Um. Yeah. Uh, when it's going back and forth, just you know, one or two hands doesn't make a a, a real pattern. But uh, you lost one. You won one. You lost one. If it's going back and forth, this is your hand to win, and that's that's great. That's for that's where you want to play the purples. Okay, you got a good hand. Stay. Yeah, tie, per, queens and tens, same. Okay. So you're kind of on the right track. There's another face card for you. Ouch! You got to oh, work on that gosh. one. It's a lot of good cards. Nineteen. I'll stay. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. So you won, you lost two in a row. Right. So when if you play the purple system like that, you um, you risk it. You know you're risking triple the bet, but you you the reward is you can get triple the win if you hit the 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 winning hand. Stay and stay. Okay. Ace. 13, 23, all right. Okay. Okay. Finally. Well. Whoop. Dropped it 
it on the floor. Okay. I got it. All right. There's always a pause while she marks that yeah. score card, so... I especially don't. get confused when we're going from one hand to two hands. I don't okay. know why. All right, that's a nice hand. Look, all right. Stay and stay. No, this is a hit. I may have you beat already. We always hit A7. Oh, okay. Um, you may get a two or a, one, two, three, improve your hand. If you don't, you'll probably have to hit again. But you might be beat already. Because I could have any 10 point value card. That's four. I could have a nine. Okay, that's five cards that out of 13. So it's uh, five out of 13 times you're already beat. So this is a, but this, this is a hit, basically, for sure. So you got to hit again. All right, too much. 15, and I don't have to mm, run okay. this out. Now I'm going to pull them back. If you didn't hit, right? Yep. I hit, make 21. So you're going to lose it anyway. And like I said, there's, there's five cards that already beat you out of 13. And you up your one here though, so you get that. That's a blackjack, and uh, yeah, the, there's your three to two money right there. So lost one, blackjack on one, and even though you lost that, you're gonna come out ahead. You'll see right. when you make your bet. This was a loser, so you probably want to be down to fifty. Oh, okay. And you get to take that home. Right. So even though you lost this, you still brought a hundred dollars to your stack. Right. And you're betting on both uh, both slots. And you don't have to break yourself this time, so that's pretty good. All right, you got an interesting hand here. This is so, sp split them. Oh, okay. Split them. Yeah. Because you can make good hands, you can make good hands, you could get doubles, whatever. Uh, you got two chances to win it. So you, one chance you can make a great hand here, the other chance I might break. Okay. Stay. I will back up in the end. Stay. And see what, now this is a double. Against the six, there you go. And I got 14. I got too much. All Good. right. So, well, let's see what you got here. 15. You made a crappy hand there, too, but you won. So let me pay you, and then I'm going to back up, and we'll see what would have happened. Okay. If you just hit. Okay, so you won $100, $200, $300 just off that. Okay, now I'm going to back it up, and we're going to look at what happened if you just hit, right? So there's the 8. You hit it. You had 18. Dealer has 9. You probably still would have doubled 19. Dealer's got 14, 20. So you would have lost on both hands if you didn't split those. Okay. Okay. And like I said, you had two chances to win. Get a good card, which you didn't get, but you won on the second chance. So, I mean, there you go. That's, And this is what you save your, your marginal money for, is so you can play these all-in type hands, really. But you want, you want a really nice score on both, on both um, sides. Oops. Okay. All right. Okay. And so you pulled about $300 back. This is what you pulled back, right? One, two, yeah. So you pulled $300 back. Did you pull that back too? Yeah. So 375, you still got $100 bet on both hands and throw this 470, this in there, you, you're almost even. Right. And still have 200 bets. So 
you know, you're in a good spot. You were going downhill, but that just that one hand really um, made you more healthier. <laughs> okay. This one is a hit. That's a hit, yeah. Too much. This is a double against a seven. Eleven against a seven. There's your mystery card. Ten. Uh oh, so you need a ten, nine or ten. Oh, too bad. All right. So I'm losing both. Yeah. Easy come, easy go, right? <laughs> yeah. You lost a double, and they were and they were double basic bets already. So you just lost one three hundred. <laughs> That's your profit from last hand. Yep. But, you know, even though we have this figured out, what's best to hit and what's not, it's not, you know, it's not a guarantee when you play them hands. You get the advantage, and that's about all you can do. Play, You know, that's when you bet your money. Nine, 16, too much. All right. I'm... Drawing a blank, I have a very short memory <laughs> from 10 minutes ago. 19. Stay. Tie. Let's turn that into a winner. Get to a chicken dinner. That's a good double. Double on the nine against a six. That's a good double. It's, those are the kind of hands you want. You got your advantage. You got two chances to win. 13, 18. You need a 10 like that to win. Cool. So it worked out just right. You lost 300 a little while ago, but you just got 200 of it back. So it, it goes back and forth, but you want more forth than back. Yeah. All right. But you don't have to break yourself. 14, 24. Oh, oh boy. Oh my goodness. All right. I'm going to keep it to one. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm doing well on it. So yeah. Well, why? Why change the cards? There's another one of them same splits, two fours. Okay. And that card calls for fours it always call, calls for you just to hit it but like I said you have two chances to win you can make a good hand you might so this is a good play even though the card that that we know is not very accurate says to just hit it because and you just won a couple hundred dollars on that so let's right. let's see what we're having now see there's a double there's your mystery card. Okay. Don't have to break Stay. yourself. Hopefully I will. 10, 19. So that's a loser. Get an ace or a 10. Oh, nope. that's, that's a loser. All right. So you lost on both of them. And again, I'm going to back up. And we're going to see what would have happened. Let me collect all those. We're going to see what would have happened if you'd have just hit it. Okay? It was okay. like this. You'd had 13, so you stop. Dealer would catch 6. There's 10, 20. So you would lose it either way. either way. This way, you lost more. Because I did the split. Because you did the split, but... And, and the last time you did that, it paid off. You won on both of them. And uh, it's it, it's more fun to play for the jackpot hands like that when you get them. It's to your advantage. And, uh, it, you know, not only the fact that you can win and, and win, win double pots, but it's a jackpot, you know, chance of it that's and that's fun okay there's nobody home here You're just hitting it's not a double 14 17 17 
14, big one. Seven, well, we tie. Everybody's got 17. And 17 is really a crappy hand. We need to do a video on that one of these days because the hope, best you can hope to do with a 17 if the dealer makes a hand is to, pay, is to push just like that. But it, again, it, you can't hit it even though you, you know, the dealer might have a 10 or something showing because, uh, let's see, nobody's home. You can double on that because my ace is not that powerful. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And hit. Taking a hit there. 20. 19. So this is a winner and we need a 9 10. There it is. Right. That's 20. So you get paid on both of them, which is pretty good. This has been a good shoe, shoe for you. You've been getting splits and doubles pretty good that, that really make it interesting to play, and that's how you can win right. lots of money. So um, sometimes you, you're you playing and you just you don't get any splits or doubles, and really the, every hand you're looking at is a 15 or a 14 or something. So uh, this is a, being an interesting hand for you. Okay, let's see if we got a paint for you. No paint. <laughs> so I don't have to break myself. Right. I do hit here. This is, you do hit. This is a double. Okay. Because there's eight to five in your favor now. Because prior to this, it's eight to five against you if you got a five or less. But when you have the six, you've got seventeen. So any ten point value card is good for you. Before that, it's not. It just makes you 16 or 15 or something. Plus, you can get little cards mm -hmm. to make a you know a really nice hand. And you got the two chances to win because I could break. There's 20. So loser, you need a four. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> See? All right. So you lose this one, but you're going to get paid from your double on there and to make you a profit for the hand. All right. So, you, and even though you you only made the hundred here, it, it's going to pay off for you when you make your next bet. You'll All you'll right. be able to take chips home. Okay. Just one hand now. Yeah. All right. So you made a you you pulled off what three hundred dollars profit that time, just by taking it back into your stack. Nobody's home. Yeah. Okay, there's 17. Stay. Go hit your mo mother-in-law. <laughs> the 17, tie. Okay. 17. Stay. 18. Okay, let's see if we can get you a chicken dinner. 17. Stay. 21. Okay. Yeah, like we say, you can't hit them even though you want to because you break. You got another 17 in there? Nope, even <laughs> worse. Oh, 20. I was going to say, it's, even though it wasn't 17, and I said even worse, but at least you get to hit it. 17 you couldn't hit, this you hit, and you made a 20, but it's just a, a push. But a push is just another word for a non-loser. <laughs> another term for that. 18. Stay. It's a push. Stay. Let's try again. 20. 20 is pretty good, hopefully. 15, 21. <laughs> well, can't, can't account for the dealer's luck. Nope. All right. Getting into the, breaking the rhythm of that Crap. stuff. There's 13, <laughs> 17, no one's home. Yep. 14, too much. 
Okay. Okay, and, and losing. All right. Two hands again. All right. All right, at least you don't have to break yourself. Stay and stay. Okay, hopefully the dealer will bust like that. Boom. <laughs> All right. There you go. Two winners. Now let's see if you can get the chicken dinner. Either you get a chance for a chicken dinner or you get a chance to go slosh around in the <laughs> fountain out, out there talking about how stupid <laughs> you did. All right, that's not bad. Stay and stay. 13, you got a chance. 21, chance evaporated. And that's a bummer because you lost on your 20. Yeah. 18 wasn't bad, but it's you hate when you lose on your 20s. <laughs> right. Thirteen. Too much. Had to do it. One of the quick little hands when you just. Yep. Thirteen and break, and dealer had you beat. All right. Maybe that seventeen will work for you this time, or not? Jeez. It, bad. Worse. Terrible. <laughs> man, oh man, oh man. I'm gonna keep playing single hands. Yeah, I don't blame you. Pull out the drag out the nastiness. Eight. Sixteen. Stay. Eleven. Seventeen. You'd have lost if you hit. So either way on that. And 16 against an 8 is almost like almost 50 50 whether you um, w whether you hit or, or not hit it's about 50 50. you can double on this or not it depends on how conservative you want to play 14 15 18 so you need a 10. all right all right good one Anytime the dealer's got a break card, that gives you that two chances to win, so you might as well go for it and right. hopefully get some happy cards. There's the happy cards. You don't want me hitting. <laughs> 18. Okay, all right. That's good. That's some money. That's your take back to your stack money. Yeah. So that's happy money. <laughs> Let's see if we can get you some more happy money. Boom. Uh-oh. You don't have to break yourself, though. 13, 23. All right. This is what you want to do when you're getting down to the bottom of the shoe. Yeah. Which we are here, and we know we'll quit. But if you've been playing for a while in the casino, you know, you don't know how many shoes you went through because it depends on how many people are at the table. Right. But, you know, you've played for a while and you want to bail out if you can, and you want to bail out a winner, so. Well, 21. Huh. Can't lose that one. But you lost, you won a couple of them double basics yeah, right there. Yeah, I got a big pile of chips. Yep, 18. Stay. 12, 22. All right, there we go. Good one. All right, let's get you another payday. Uh-oh. <laughs> Boom. The well, best I can do is tie you. Uh, and I didn't. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. So that's a great finish. That, you got your, it was a double basic, and plus you got blackjack, so you get that blackjack money. And uh, I'm going to bet you're about $100 ahead, but let's cash in and find out. So 
your your parentheses is four. So there's hundred dollars out of that five hundred that she never even had to touch. Okay, you don't mind if I count them, right? No. So that's one, two, three, four, five. There's five hundred. That's your that's your buy-in right there. And that's your profit, hundred dollars, which I knew that was right because I'm looking at okay. my stack. Do that in the casino. Uh, they can look at their stacks, and it looks like a big mess to you, but it's just like this. They know what the stacks are supposed to look like. Mm -hmm. They can about tell what you got by looking at what's missing in their stacks. So here's your buy-in, and there's your uh, win winnings, hundred dollar winnings. And uh, even though you were back and forth in that, you ended up doing good. $100 in a 20 minutes is a pretty good score. Yeah, I think so too. All right, well, thanks for joining us for today's happy game of blackjack. <laughs> Thank you very much.